okay in this session i'm going to explain you about uh, our environment and uh, uh, related things okay we will see all the terminology part and uh, technology related issues and uh, the environment the structure okay the user interface related issues okay everything we will see in this session so first of all um, uh, this product we can only uh, work with the i mean i uh, this environment i have installed manually in my machine so normally in real time this environment will be in cloud i mean azure okay so there are no uh, on premise versions are available only cloud version is available currently microsoft is only providing cloud version uh, which we can access through a dedicated url given to the particular client uh, completely the user interface kind of thing okay development related things will be done at a client side only uh, that that those things we will uh, discuss how uh, the development will be uh, done at the client side and how it will be uh, replicated in the live environment and all we will discuss later part of time so meanwhile first let me explain you about uh, our environment currently so you you guys already um, imported your user id into the system right by using this tool admin user provisioning tool you have pasted uh, your here and uh, you submitted the id right so no. uh, based on this id the administrator i mean we are we are creating administrator for this environment i mean we are creating admin account through that admin account we need to log in the user interface so here to log in the user interface uh, i'm going to open the user interface here in the uh, browser itself you can use any browser not a problem uh, like a chrome uh, internet explorer uh, firefox anything any browser is uh, compatible okay and uh, here i have already uh, given a uh, url uh, like finance and operations will be there here you just click on it sometimes you will get this kind of um, warning message or something like error message okay your connection is not private okay uh, you just uh, click on the advanced option advanced button control here there is a proceed to in, in unsafe mode okay because it is not a registered url right so that is the reason the chrome is uh, restricting this url to open uh, open the environment so you just need to uh, open it. it it's a complete uh, uh, our our issue right so no need to uh, think about it you just open it once you are logging i mean already if you are signed okay no uh, system will not ask any user id password okay directly it will open the user interface suppose if you sign out if you sign out definitely when you click on the url it will redirect to the um, uh, outlook user id and password so whatever the user id you have provided in admin user provisioning tool the same user id you need to submit and uh, in the next step you need to provide the password so that um, you will enter into this environment okay now you can see i have logged in with my user id here you can see there is a uh, this is my user id in uh, right side the top corner there is a ad is there right ad ad means here active directory okay active directory so uh, one thing i need to tell you here uh, please don't change the passwords and uh, any domain names and uh, any computer name even okay don't change it if you change the passwords or uh, uh, domain name or user uh, system name computer name definitely environment will be corrupt okay drivers and all you can install not a problem and uh, other related installations always welcome okay you can do any kind of installations not a problem okay and uh, uh, don't upgrade the sql server version and uh, don't upgrade the visual studio version because already it is a pre-installed okay in this environment already we have installed okay don't update or don't install the next version of your uh, sql server and the next version of your uh, visual studio okay those are all very important remaining things your wish you can install anything and you can use it as you like this system will work as a like a windows 10 operating system okay and uh, this system uh, the good thing is uh, it won't get a virus effect it is a server right so it won't get effect um, uh, immediately i mean um, casually so now 
before going to tell you that first i need to tell you something suppose if the environment is not opening for you okay sometimes okay if you uh, if you are unable to open the environment so first you need to do one thing uh, go to the uh, date and time settings here okay date and time settings here you just make it uh, on set a time automatically keep it on okay and uh, this should be on mode okay time zone should be this one only don't change to uh, indian time or your uh, uh, your ge geographical uh, time time zone okay don't change it utc uh, 800 pacific time only us canada okay keep it this one only uh, so in my system the current time is uh, 9 5 pm and 16th date but actually today is 17th uh, in india but i am using i am oh, i am uh, in my system it is 16th today it's 17th actually but uh, of course if i change the time zone sometimes the environment will not open okay because uh, that environment uh, i have taken uh, i have taken it as a backup of us environment system okay so don't change the time zone and all and set time automatically there is an option right you make it on okay if the environment not opened in that case you just do it okay fine now let me open the environment here so this is your front end application so here we are going to uh, discussing about uh, three things uh, one is uh, user interface okay second one is a development environment and third one is a database so these are the three applications we need to discuss in future also we will work on these three environments completely so coming to the uh, environment in this environment if you see there are a lot of uh, things uh, we are going to see in here there is a calendar system here uh, there is a um, uh, there is a, a, a one heading is there like um, microsoft dynamics 365 for finance and operations okay and uh, here it is the company name that is the company name we will discuss later point of time what is company here and all there is a settings button something like and there is a, this is the active directory if you want to sign out you can uh, there is an option to sign out here your from your application and again you can uh sign in with another user id but that user id has to submit as a um admin user okay you can create one more uh, outlook id and uh, password and uh, you can submit you can submit and you can log in with that particular id and password and um, and okay see here there is a three lines is there in the left side uh, top corner okay navigation pane um, if you click here there are uh, four sections you can see favorites recent workspaces and modules favorites in the sense um, whatever the forms we will use frequently those forms or anything any anything you can make it as a favorite so that easily we can access from here recent whatever the objects we have opened recently in our application all the objects will be resided here like three four five six seven eight nine ten i mean ten objects suppose if you opened uh, one object i mean if you if you opened one form that form automatically comes here okay and uh, the recent ten objects we can access from here also okay and uh, workspaces workspaces in the sense these are all workspaces let's see here there is a bank management there is a square box is there right see here okay and benefits see here budget planning see here budget planning something like i mean uh, this workspace we can also called as a this workspace is uh, placed on the dashboard whatever you are seeing the screen we can call it as a dashboard the main dashboard of the user interface see this application is not a demo version please understand i mean okay this is a real time environment version i mean whatever you are seeing the same version will be available in real time also but some little bit configurations will be different but environment will be the same i mean the user interface look and feel options uh, everything everything will be same 
Oh.